shine on sky view. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we are going to Smoketown. That's where we're headed to. And, let me see here. My fourth flight. Um, because, just checking out um, with the identifiers, I thought it was here as AM37. We'll go there direct to. M three seven. Enter. Smoke down PA. Turn twenty five nautical miles. Want to activate it? Um, we're going to do a mission kind of flight with uh, Kevin and his Tiger aircraft. Um, Message. Message. Check barometer settings. We'll do that shortly. When we'll listen to the Orange County's weather, we'll do that right now. Actually, Let's flip it over. Remarks. Density altitude 1,700. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 1334 Zulu. Wind variable at zero four. Visibility one zero. Sky condition broken 1,600. Temperature 24 Celsius. Dew point 20 Celsius. Altimeter 2976. Remarks. Density altitude 1,700. Okay. Got that. We're on frequency 132.75. We have that in standby because uh, Kevin's going to do the radios. Um, so I'm going to kind of just follow what he's going to do today. So, Smoketown, having a little barbecue in Smoketown. Uh, about an hour flight um, for me, uh, but we're going to... The Tiger's a fast air aircraft, but we're going to follow him um, in formation. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. Also, speaking of barbecues, folks, uh, don't forget Orange County here. I'm having a little fly-in um, July 18th. And uh, rain date is July 19th. So we're going to have some fun stuff. Hamburgers, hot dogs, some sides, you know, all that fun stuff. It's going to be free. We'll do a 50-50. Um, so it'll be cool to come together and just hang out here at Orange County. Big runways, so bring whatever you can. Um, but we have uh, 40, 40 spots available, and there's really nothing left, but you can fly in of parking and also this is pretty uh you know a lot of local people uh, watch the channel here it's just your family your friends your kids and, and parking lot is, is big enough to park anything you want to park in the parking lot so come on down enjoy the fun oshkosh is canceled unfortunately um this year so i decided to kind of do it that week i already took off of work that week so why not you have fourth of july weekend you get a break and then you have the flying here at orange county amgj so i'm gonna do the run up here list all the fun stuff and I'll bring it back with you guys and uh, right there's Kevin in front of me he's gonna be uh, our radios for us okay the checklist is complete we'll put that over here and uh, we're gonna get out of here there's some low clouds in the area some fog but there's all patches everywhere so we'll pay attention to that all set hey Radio 2, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just to let you know. Copy that, me too. Orange County traffic, Skyhawk, turning across 1, 2, 2, following the diamond. 
Okay, so we're going to go to 6500. We're going to avoid clouds at all costs. Got the cameras rolling. So let's have a fun flight. Hopefully nothing turns off. Okay, doors are locked, secure, flaps 15. We're trimmed for takeoff. Mixers for rich, props full forward. Departing runway 22. Anybody in the pad in runway 22, orange? Full pumps on. Thinking away the Johnson's bar here. Biggest thing about a Johnson bar, make sure nothing's in the way. Cell phones laying on here. You could to crack the screen. And six tango echoes taking two two straight out. And you might have a problem with the gear. I'm here. Here we go. Orange Sky Traffic Mooney uh, also taking uh, 2 2 departure following the Tiger formation flight. Okay. Gave him a chance to get off the ground, of course. Things coming down the pike here. Look in the sky, I don't know if this camera front can show you. We see all the, all the broken skies up there, so we're fine. I'm going to put my display full. He's off the ground. Let's roll. Okay. Everything's in the green, full power. Green, green, green. Looking good. Here's the live. 60, 65, 70, rotate. And the gear's coming up. We're over 80 miles an hour, so I have a hard time putting it down. Oh, no, it's good. All right. Bird. So some people do say, why do you put the gear up so soon? Um, it's because the Johnson bar, it's a lot easier to put the gear up Touchdown under 80 traffic. miles per hour. Echo, uh, we'll be deploying a pattern to the uh, south. Chris, I'm going over to New York. Okay, I've got the, the five fingers on this, awesome. Three five, your R uh, sorry, your IFR equipped and qualified. That's affirmative. We're uh, slash seven golf uh, Cessna 182. Final two two. Uh, seven one three seven one seven three five squawk five one five zero identity. Entering the uh, right down wind two two orange. Fifty one fifty, and there's the ident. Uh, like I said, we're just going to proceed uh, overhead and have a look and see what it looks like, and then we'll uh, let you know if we're going to need it. Seven one seven three five Roger. Uh, for now, maintain three thousand and uh, heading a zero three zero. Let me know if you get the airport site. Fuel pumps coming off. All right, three thousand and the lights coming off. On a heading. Cessna seven one seven three five. Seven one uh, seven three five. You consider yourself IFR at this point. Traffic. Eleven o'clock. Low. Uh, Less than one mile. Descending. Heading. Let me know what your intentions are at three thousand. Okay, we'll fly present heading of zero. Uh, you want zero three zero present heading. Uh, whatever heading is uh, works best for you, just let me know. All right, it's going to be uh, zero 080 zero heading for 35. Okay, and gears up, flaps up. We're well, good, we have uh, 25 over 25. The white. We're climbing. 61, New York approach, 12855. Golden Yankee, pop you up. I'm going to put this one display Yankee on full map. Break. Yankee oh, pop, good we'll morning, just going to maintain 6,000, say tap approach into Orange County and confirm you have the weather. Just then maintain 6,000 and I'm going for the ILS for into Orange County. It's going to be a full stop? Full stop, and I don't have the weather yet, I'll have it in a second. Just advise when you have it, one Yankee pop, Stewart altimeter 2977. 2977, 201 Yankee pop. Four Sierra Fox, climb to 1717,000. I might have a little white. Sierra Fox, contact New York Center 12532. Good day. 71735, you're directly overhead sky acres at this point. And say intentions. Yeah, um, if you could vector us for the uh, LPV 35 at sky acres. The what approach? Uh, the uh, RNAV 35. 71735, Roger, stand by. Oh, 2976. I'm going to put down a standby here. And New York 201 Yankee Pop, I have the weather in Orange County. Yankee Pop, thanks. Fly heading of uh, 180 for now, 180 heading. 180 201 Yankee Pop. 2976. New York Approach, Tiger 946, Tango Echo. Call New York, standby. 
Hey, back. Four, eight, you're uh, five miles from Mumby. Maintain 4,000 until established on the segment of the approach. You're clear for the RNAV runway uh, 33 and do uh, Sullivan and report established. Maintain 4,000, clear for the RNAV 33 and we'll report established. Coletta 48. Okay, 3449, your departure. Kalama maintain 1717,000. Go to Rekalama. Okay, 3449, just give me a good rate through 14. One seven three five. What's the approach you're looking for? The Dynon systems yeah, working awesome. Arnett, Love it. CPS three five. Going to sixty five hundred. So let's put that in the bug here. Sixty five. And we are coming right to a heading of south for seven one seven three five. Seven one seven three five. Roger. What fix do you want to proceed to for the RNF? Yeah, if you could vector us just outside of uh, the final approach six Hagwe, that would be fine. Before establishing down, maintain 4,000 until established credit 48. Okay, I have the Tiger in sight still. I'm going to go on his right side. Around his five, four, five o'clock. One Yankee Pop, to send a maintain 5,000. To send maintain 5,000, 201 Yankee Pop. 1735 heading 160, 160 heading. 160 heading now for 71735. 735, how will this approach terminate? Talk. We're going to land, and uh, if you wanted to vector us to red feed, that would work perfectly. You want to go, you want to proceed direct to red me at this time, and then just proceed in uh, down on your own, is that correct? That would be great. You go direct to red me at this time. Direct red me, that's the 71735. Yankee Pop, maintain 5,000. They're busy 5, today. 5, is your one Yankee Pop. Everybody must be flying again, folks, we're busy. Center, one, two, five, three, two. Good day. Okay, so we have everything in the IFD 540, REC 2. 1670, thanks. Nice Good morning, cool heading 350, here. maintain 17,000. At a 48, report cancellation of IFR on this frequency or on the ground on 121.6. All right, we'll report 121.6, call out a 48. Report when you're established inbound. Roger that, call out a 48. Yankee Pop heading 2-2, two, two, uh, make it a 2-1-0 two, heading, 2-10 two, heading. 2-1-0 two, heading, 2-0-1 two, Yankee Pop. 4-8, your radar service terminates. Stand your present squawk code, frequency Attention. change approved. Altitude. When able, report your cancellation of IFR. All right, remain uh, on the code and uh, clear for the approach, and we'll, we'll get IFR on the ground, uh, camped off around the ground, cloud of 48. 8-71, good morning, maintain 1-7-17,000. Okay, instead of approaching altitude, that's a 500 feet reminder. You can do 200, 300 reminder, 100 reminder. It's very easy to program this the way you want it. Tiger. And I'll do a video of that one day when I'm going to change some things around or an update. I'll show you how that all happens. Put to level off. New York, uh, Tiger 946, Tango Echo. Yankee Pop, the center maintain 4,000. The center maintain 4,000, 201 Yankee Pop. 43 Romeo Romeo, contact New York Center, 132.17. Good day. Yankee Pop, maintain 1678, just confirm I gave you direct to Gale. Okay, we're going to level off here. Two miles from Redmi, maintain 3000 until established on the uh, segment of the approach. It's five. For the RNAV runway uh, 33 at uh, Sky Acres, report established inbound. Okay, we're clear the. Uh... Hey, Kevin, you can hear me on flight level 6.5. Maintain 3,000 tour established on the segment, and uh, we'll let you know when, when we cancel for uh, three, uh, 735. Thanks, and you are clear for the RNF 35 at Sky Acres. Thank you. Clear the RNF 35 Sky Acres, 71735. Tiger 946, Tango Echo. 46 Tango Echo, good. Tango Echo, flight of two over uh, 08 November Yankee going to uh, Sierra 37. 6,500, like to get flight following. Just to call approach on 12855, you're in their airspace, 2855. 2855, 6 Tango Echo. 871, left turn heading 330. Good morning, New York. Tiger 946, Tango Echo. Tiger 946, Tango Echo. Okay. Follow a flight of two, uh, with just over 08 uh, November Yankee, en route to uh, S37, 6500. I can't hear that. So after you swap, you there we go. Trap is rubbing too. Negative, he's a Mooney. Uh, he, he'll be squawking 1200, he's right behind me. Fine. 
That was Squawk 03 what? 0303, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 Echo. 596 down to 3. Uh, one shot, 11 o'clock, 4 maneuvering at 21, 11 o'clock, 5 northeast, front at 25. Looking, and down to 3, flush jet 596. 52, maintain 4,000. 4,000, sprint wing 3156. Number 9, 46, Echo Echo, you are uh, right up out of position stated. What's your off course setting going to be? Uh, of course, it's going to be 238. Do that. Traffic. Sure. Country 233, descending the suite at 7,000, Papa. All right, who is it? 2597? All right, 237, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to put the information from here Papa, two for on, the, on the sky view on the right side. So display, map, information column. And there's all your waypoints. We had a multiple waypoints. There you go, ETAs. Hey, Kev, you want one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, Chris, I got you. Go ahead. Okay, nope, I'm going to come up on you. I'll be under 5 o'clock in about a mile. All right, Roger that. Why don't you come on uh, either my left or my right to where uh, I got you in sight. It's okay to do that. Okay, I'll come up on your left side then. Roger that. Let me slow down here. 21 over 24, see what I could do to slow down. Okay, everything's looking good. I got the Skyview HDX obviously on as my main. I got the map on this side, TFR is coming. Thought they canceled that, uh, don't matter. Leaving altitude. Can make it down. Now leaving altitude I have set for 300 feet, which I should set for 100 IFR, obviously. 70% power right now. Pull back a little bit more. I'm slowly catching him. I just don't want to go up too fast and pull the power back like that. So I want to... Outside temperature is 60. GPS information is coming off the IFD, as you can see here. I'm slowly catching up to him. Hey, Chris, uh, Chris, make sure you're squawking 1200. Yep, uh, 1200 on the box. Do that. Got a cornering headwind, 265 at 26. And if you could, come up on my uh, left side so I can see you. Yep, coming up on you, just uh, slowly coming up on you. I don't want to pull the power way back, so I slowed back a little bit. So I'll be there probably about uh, two minutes. No worries, thank you. All right, so let's pull the power back a little bit more, because he's right there. You should be able to see me right now. Power back a little bit more. Okay, 22 and a half over 23 and a half ish. Okay, have you got me in sight? I'm sorry, Chris, go to standby on your transponder. Standby on your transponder. Okay, um, standby is selected. Thank you. The trap is going off like crazy, right? Right, Kev, you should have me in sight now. Probably go to 
Same altitude, less than one mile. Level. Thank you. I'm going to scoot up a little bit more further. It's smooth up here. Chris, what'd you say? I'm going to scoot up a little bit more on your left side. No worry, you can go wing tip to wing tip. We're good. I'm not really going to do that. <laughs> Traffic, 1 o'clock, same altitude, less than 1 mile, level. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see him or not. Coming up on him. Okay, I gotta pull the power back a little bit more here now that I, I want to be. Looking good, Kev. bit closer to him. See if you can get a couple of pictures off. I'm uh, taking pictures of yours now. I'll get you. I'm moving a little bit closer. Okay, so it should be good around 22.5 and then 23.8. I'm starting to pass him again, so once I get a little closer, I will just... So back a little bit more on the power. All right, we're looking good right about a little bit more back on the power. All right, right there should be good. Let's see how we work out here. Closer to him. Okay, let me get some pictures for him. We're looking good. We have flight, he has flight following. We both have flight following. Flight of two. And there he is out to our two o'clock. We got a lot of clouds broken here, as you can see outside. I'm watching Kevin at all times here. He's, uh, I got the same heading he's at. He's got autopilot. Um, I should have autopilot hopefully soon. And here is all the Dynon set up. A little bit closer with him. I'm going to get the pictures. And the IFD 540. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, I only have traffic. Um, we're about 42 miles away, uh, minutes away. 22, thir thir uh, 22, and I have 23.5 on the RPMs. Um, we're burning 8.8. .8. I can go actually a little bit less than that. A 65% power. Point five gallons per hour at 100 and about 40, 45 miles per hour. I still got to change that to knots. Here's all the airports around. I'm going to go back to uh, display. I'm going to put map on the other half, and I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need it, so I'll go to display and hit done and then here's my B, uh, BFR map and um, I'm gonna make that side bigger and then I'm gonna go hit north
There's our VFR map. Got some traffic right here, but he's way below us, 2900. Our flight display, our map, we have our map. I don't know why that one says it's, a, it's red. We're not in a TFR. I don't know why that's red. That was, that was canceled. Um, it's right on this side, which is a little weird. Uh, but that's when uh, President Trump was supposed to come to Jersey. I don't know why uh, that is red, but we'll have to figure that out. I'm not worried about that. Okay, our fuel. They just want me to switch tanks, so I'm going to switch tanks. Oh, fuel, well, I'm going to take this off. Fuel pump's coming on. I'm going to go to my side. All the way over. Make sure that clicks in all the way. I know you guys know we'll have Moody's. Um, fuel pump's off. Fuel pressure. Pressure is good in the green. Let's put a little bit more power in. It'll fall behind a little bit. Um, because sometimes you don't click it all the way, it would be, you know, just cocked a little bit enough where it could cause a problem. So make sure it's all the way up on either side. Well, why do I tell you that? Because it happened to me. I noticed that I, I moved the tanks over. I was in turbulent air. And I noticed, I looked down, it wasn't quite all the way over. And I didn't have a, I didn't have a problem, but I always double check it. And I noticed it wasn't all the way up. So, uh, that's a mistake that I make. Um, I'd love to share it with you guys. Captain Nugget. Reporting in. <laughs> okay. Hey, Chris. Hey, Kev. So you said something. Nope. That's probably some other chatter. Okay, I'm going back to uh, ATC. Okay. Direct, uh, up 6,000 direct Elvay, spare wing. So oh, this green circle here, you see, is my glide. Now get a cold tank. I'm running off for 2,900. Well, that's a good thing also. Here's traffic 15 feet below us. Get to a thing pretty quick. Okay, I can put a little more power in. If I wow. the, uh, the old school rules, I'm supposed to overtake with the, pl with the plane I'm overtaking on my right, correct? He's heading. Jeff now, what's the barometer here? Right I went over this a couple one, times for the dyno. I can hold this button down. Six, six, let's say five, I'm not six, doing three. flight following, or let's say uh, I'm going far enough where I want to know, you know, they told me uh, 15, 20 minutes ago the altimeter is 29 or 76, and, then 20, that's, and I want to see what it is now. Uh, this will pick up the nearest station that has the barometer. So if I hold this down, Leaving altitude. Oh, it still says MPO is the nearest, which is weird. But uh, KMPO is 29.83. Sure, arrow 8098 Romeo 1000 for 2000. So we go back here. Oops. Um, Nugget, did you like that? Barometer. 29.76, so it went up. Short. Let's change that yeah, I they'd be to 83. Pretty shortly. Okay, back and exit. I have to add it to my checklist to, I'm done doing all this stuff, is uh, the run-up is to also go back my, on my instrument check, is to... Leaving altitude. Is to... Um, Tango Echo call Allentown 2445, 2445. I told him you're a flight or two, just to remind him that you hold the hands with that money. See you later. Paul. Gratified. Hey, Don't go around Allentown. Um, so... Remember to do this because this is your backup. It's your speed indicator, it's your tape, altitude, speed. Via far flight at two, 6,500. Oh, that's your backup in case ever goes out. If the both speeds go out, if this goes out. The backup, and I also still carry. If you can just uh, squawk via far at this time, um, let me get a new code for you. It's tough to decipher. Take the handoff from New York because you guys are close. Okay, the other guy's squawking standby just to let you know. Yeah, you know what, hold on, just stand by one, I might be able to take you now. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, perfect, and uh, you are radar contact, just verify your altitude. At uh, 6,500. Number 6, Tango Echo, just show you about 200 north, or correction, uh, higher than uh, 6,500. Allentown, altimeter 29 or 78, and uh, you can just remain that squad code. 29 or 78. Everybody says that, and I'm looking, and, and I got two inches here. There's a lot of action around Solberg, it's almost that it looks like. 6,500. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going for 40. 
Okay. Uh, just, uh, yeah, uh, the you know, just cautionary for you, just to let you know. And the pressure altitude is showing 68. All right, I'm going to go down to uh, I'm going to go down 200 for you. And six Tango Echo, or correction, Tango Echo, you're fine with a 200 feet variance there. Um, just take note of it, and I might want to get that checked out. Roger that, sir. Thank you. Sierra zero seven Charlie, previous issue traffic now. To hey, cab, you on? Northbound, uh, out of below 300 indicated, or correction, 3000 indicated. Sierra seven Charlie, Roger. Got him on CCAS, no visual. Hey, cab, you on? One two three four five. Good morning, outside approach, number one or two, Mike Charlie. So he is showing 200 feet more. One nine or two, Mike Charlie is a skyline calling out. Are you still with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Can you hear me? Skyline sure. one nine or two, Mike Charlie. Okay, just to let you know, I'm at uh, 6600 uh, in change. Um, so uh, if you're showing 65, you're definitely higher than 65. Yeah, I, I, I got to find out what's going on with Mike Charlie. Right, I'm going back Island to him. Altimeter two nine or seven nine. Okay, I'll go down to 65 then. So I come up on my left, go down to 65, and I'm going to match you, all right? Okay, I'm going to come a little bit closer. Roger. He has a, a nice Aspen set up. And it's 3 2 Victor, Roger. Nugget. If I call you Nugget, I want you to call me Captain Squishy Pan. You catch up to him a little, little bit Roger, more. Captain Squishy Pan. A very little inputs here. You don't want to floor it and blow right by him so that it'll slow down. Little power. RPMs are fine where they're at. 3415 heavy, 1000 climbing, 3000. Air transport 3415 heavy, Allentown departure. Good morning, your radar contact. Climb maintain 8000 and cleared right turn direct east Texas VOR. Right turn direct east Texas VOR, 8000. Air transport 3415. That's nice, why don't you get above these clouds? It's a few degrees cooler. It is a lot cooler up here, for sure. Yeah, I'm showing 63 outside. And I'm showing 62, so it's about right. And Cherokee 57 Juliet Alpha, maintain view to below 2000 at this time. Traffic Our ship is a nose over, here I come. He's found a There's a little metal probe, maybe about this big, this around on the side of the plane that runs off the dynon for, for, um, for outside temperature. And 7 Juliet Alpha, just give me an eye then. All right, let me slow down. I'm catching up okay. way up to him here. Uh, I see you. Okay, Kev, you on? Yeah, Chris, I'm going by the pressure altitude on the GTA. Okay, you might try. Oh, okay, so I'm at 6,500 right now. So I have less than a mile, climbing to 2,000. I'm off to your 9 o'clock almost. I got you. Yeah, All right, zero, I'm at 65 now. Uh, not picking up any traffic inbound. Uh, in your vicinity, radar services terminated, squawk VFR, frequency changes. Okay, I'm showing 6.5, uh, 2, 9, or 7, 8 inches. VFR, thanks for helping that. I'm going back to uh, AT transport, 34, 50. Okay, yeah, you're about 200, 200 feet less than me. Okay. Eric Center on 12462, air transport, 3415. Thank you, good day. Good day. Okay, we're all looking Mike, good. The, uh, so, yes, and I have. Uh, Good flight. I got you. Now it appears you're direct bound at As a backup. Six hundred, correct. That's affirm two thousand six hundred over Pike Town. And so, Charlie, you're coming inbound. And uh, everybody always says you like having totally glass screens. Not everybody. Sorry, I would say forty yeah, percent. Ready to fly, yeah. Yeah. Charlie. Maintain three thousand. I also have four flight on my phone. Your position southeast bound. So let's catch up to Kevin here. Four hundred indicated type unknown. That previous issued traffic for the Cherokee is uh, no factor. 27 nautical miles, or 59 nautical miles away, 27 minutes. We're doing pretty good. Put the information column up on this side. I got my maps. I can't wait till they get the autopilot of praying at the end of the year. We have the autopilot put in. It's smooth up here, but when we get down below these clouds, we're going to put our seatbelts on tighter. Because I'm sure a little turbulent underneath the clouds. But it's all broken. Which is nice. Alright, thanks. 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 
6 Tango Echo. What was your uh, destination again? I might not catch you until we get to Maryland. Is it Sierra 07? Nah, it'll be, it'll be here before you know it. Smoke down. Trying to find exactly his power settings. Right here looks about right. An answer to 6032 Victor to cancel flight following. Let me show you guys here. 32 Victor, no observed traffic. Where's already uh, on? Actually, uh, directly north of your position, about eight miles. There he is. Here southeast bound, 2200 north of the ridge. Uh, no, there's their traffic in the vicinity. Radar services terminated. Have a good one. Pretty cool, right? I think our power settings are here right now. It looks pretty good. So 21.9 and 24. Uh, we are burning, uh, we're about 65% power. I thought that lady on the tarmac was coming over to talk to you. Yeah, she did walk up pretty close. I figured she's trying to collect like a $5 landing fee or something. So, we're going to Smoketown. Right here. Chris, do me a favor, go to one, two, three. Four seven five. Grumman's uh, correction. Grumman flight six tango echo squawk four two five two, and just the the lead aircraft. You on, Chris? I'm on, Kev. Hey, that's much better. This way, we're not hearing the other guys. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. Let's get this information here. Smoketown information. Weather. Tiger 6 Tango Echo, uh, did you copy that? 4252 for the squat code. I'm sorry, sir. 4252 6 Tango Echo. Thank you. Mike Charlie, contact tower 120.5. Good day. 20.5, thanks for your help. Good day. Thank you. Uh, but right now, everything looks good. Let's go see what. Um I think this is. Lancaster. Uh, let's go see what the weather is right here. Capital city. So information. Let's go with they have weather. I know that there. So VFR there. VFR 23 minutes ago. Um, 10, 10 statue miles clear, but overcast is 32. Ground, ground level. Um, so hopefully there is some holes we can get through. If not, keep flying above all day. It's supposed to burn off, so sometimes it, it lingers throughout the late morning and sometimes it doesn't, but we're going to pay attention to that. That's their weather. The winds are 290 at uh, 10 knots, which I'm okay with that. Remarks, I don't know, there. Runways at that airport. Well, we're going to Smoketown. So we'll get that back in information here. Smoketown PA. So here, the Unicom information, 23.05. Um, traffic pattern altitude, 1400. Elevation. So basically, elevation is sea level 370. Okay, let me see if this camera's working. Yep, it is. Uh, 370. And then you add 1,000 feet to that and round it up, and you got their 14 pattern altitude. Parking, we have fuel, nav gas, and then they have tie downs available, looks like. And that is our distance from us, the bearing, ETA, 22 minutes. So we're looking really good right now. And the runways they have over there. 7844 Tango Whiskey, Allen Approach. Allen Town Altimeter, 29 or 7. 75, 50 feet wide. Um, hard surface, low, lights low, left traffic. So if the winds are correct, let's go back to weather. Yeah, it's pool. Whiskey, below 2005, Unfortunately, there's no, weather, there's no weather, there's no station at the weather station at Smoketown. So it's gonna pull to the nearest. It's forty eight point six nautical miles away, basically. Um, that's the time. Then three thousand feet is two nine zero at ten. To West Queen City and just so most likely station. we'll use two eight. And now you're looking for out below three. And let's go back to our map, go north. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. And that's of course I got four tango with weather. You three thousand approved for your work. See weather out here. We're not gonna. That's going out. We're not gonna hit that at all. Of course, it's, it's 
red is where the, pre uh, the White House, you can't go in there, obviously. You can go in the outer skirts, you have to take it. one Tango Romeo, Island Town. Yeah, one Tango Romeo, uh, you can proceed on course. And climb maintain VFR 6000. Uh, all right, now I'll have a new... But you take a course online to the FAA website. Um, you get a little certificate, I have it. It's a special way to do it. Um, flight following, you never, have, you never have an issue going in here. You, if you're in the middle, forget it. Well, there, again, you can, but I'm sure there's a lot more to it than just... Yeah, one Tango Romeo, Squawk 1172. Flight following. So, we have ADSB. We're getting the weather. Receiving, next rad. I think two minutes. Uh, but then it's about 14 minutes in the continental area. Tango Romeo, radar contact, Regional, three miles continental. Northwest, so Queen City, Allentown, out, air, correction, Allentown, out, so, two nine or seven. Gives you a lot of information. I, I just, I like it. I don't have to have an engine monitoring system. Romeo, I don't have to have, uh, uh, no, a map, a moving map thing. It's, it's kind of all right here built in. So, because you know, Mooney's had the panels are not much to work with. So, and plus it's nice and clean, and the autopilot, like I've always said, is going to go here. I'll show you what it looks like now. That's what it's going to look like, and it's going to go right in this location. That's going to be the hard keys for the autopilot, just like this is here, uh, but it's obviously different buttons, and then if obviously you go into this screen. Well, I shouldn't say obviously because you guys don't know, but then you go into the screen, and you'll see an autopilot screen as well. So, I'm really excited to get that. I mean, the Moonies, you know, I'm trimmed out, and I'm just kind of messing around a little bit with the yoke here and there. Um, but it flies nice trimmed out. But it's really nice to have an autopilot, so you can really focus more on the outside, especially when you're on flight following. You don't want to deviate too much. Even though you're VFR flight following, you don't want to deviate too much, especially in the airspace where I'm at always. Because um, you've got a lot of heavy, heavy airspace in my area. Uh, and a bunch of international airports in New York City, and a lot of airplanes they transition. You can not uh, VOR, so it's a lot of jet traffic, and they're always about 5,000 feet transitioning. So they want you to kind of tell them if you're going to deviate from your altitude or any altitude changes, notify them. Um, or, you know, I always tell them. But a lot of times they'll tell you to notify them. Okay, so. We have some traffic here, we have some traffic there, pretty far away. That's Evan up there. Fuel level is good. We've got 22 gallons, that's plenty. About two hours of flying with a little bit of reserve. With the requirement reserve, I should say, not a little bit reserve. So 642, 64, I'm sorry, and then 64 on the backup. Um, 78 it is, so I didn't change this yet. So if I go to bug, oops, not the bug, I don't want to go to the bug. I'm going to go to the barometer. Three tango clock is zero and then four, we go to five, 78, eight. we go down a little bit. Zero four, five, six, eight, three tango. Back, exit. So now it should match up, six, five, six, five. Yeah, Let's get down. Tiger flight is two, six tango echo contact, hard for approach, one, two, four point one. Great day. Two, four point one. Thank you, sir. J3 Tango radar contact, one zero miles south of Mount Pocono, Island Town, altimeter 2978. Will advise fire the altitude descent quick, south. 2978, will advise fire to descend, J3 Tango. Looking good, flying beautifully. There we go, everything in the green. Let's look at, let's get the display back and look at the bottoms here. So all of our cylinder temperatures are good, all in the green. Actually, I can lean it out a little bit more if I really wanted to. Ah, we'll keep it right there, it's fine. Um, Volts, good. How many amps we're using? One. I mean, it's at these Dynon screens, and even with the uh, IFD, they're so energy efficient. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, the screens are like this. There's fans, but they don't really stay that hot uh, anyway. So, but it's it's using drawing one amp. And 14.1 of the volts, which is nice, nicely charged. The battery. Okay, we have the, the carburetor temperature is 60 degrees. It ain't not even close to being freezing. So that's a good indicator if you're flying uh, in, the, in the winter. And this turned off probably because it's overheated. I 
and the sun's really hitting this side of the airplane, so it probably got overheated. That's okay. So yeah, so carb temperature, we're good there. They're on the green, 14.1 amps again. We're using one amp, gears up, it gears up. I left this on, I almost wasn't going to because it's so old. Hey, Chris, at uh, 20 miles okay, out, uh, I'm going to start my uh, this, uh, uh, layer of the cloud. Okay, I'll be uh, following you, sir. Yeah. So, uh, yes, so it's an awesome system. I love it. It didn't break, it didn't, uh, break the bank. Now, folks, if you're, if you're having a, a webinar soon on how to buy a, uh, the IFT certified, I'm sorry, the uh, Skyview um, certified, if you know somebody, and here's the good thing about Dynon, if you know somebody who's, who, who has their license for avionics, they can help you, you know, put it together and, and do it. Dynan allows you to do that, and you have a great customer service that will help you along the way. But everything is basically plug and play. The hardest thing probably is getting rid of all the old crap out of the uh, the panel and all the old wiring that come out that weighs 40 pounds, you know? But everything is plug and play with the Dynon system. Like, even when I get the autopilot, it's plug and play. You know, remove this, put it in, plug it in, and, you know, you're, you're basically done. So, you got to put the servos in, of course. Um, but, so it's very easy. Like, again, the hardest part is to, is putting your panel <laughs> with all the old stuff and where to put it and how to make one. But the product alone, minus all that stuff that you have to do anyway, okay, it's not expensive. So go on Dynon's website, price out one of these. And you can also have the seven inch, but it's about twelve hundred dollars uh, less than the tens. That's why I got the tens. I figured I've been saving for a long time. Mom just get two tens, be done with it. What the hell? Uh, so, yeah. So you can put it, do it. You can install it yourself and, and be at a reasonable price. Now, with the other products, you have to go to. You have to go to a dealer, an authorized dealer, to have it installed, and all the other stuff you have to do. Uh, but Dynon, you do not have to do that. But you can save yourself ten thousand dollars by having your friend help you. You might have to pay him a little bit, whatever you decide to do, or give him free flights, or whatever you guys decide. If you know somebody, you definitely have a good chance of really saving a lot more money for labor. Um, as you're helping and he signs off on it. But it's really plug and play. The hardest thing, it's not even hard, is you do your um, compass swings on the ground. You don't technically have to do it in the air if you do it on the ground right, but I did a compass swing in the air. You it's very easy, you follow the directions, you push two buttons, it gets you in that mode, and bring somebody with you, so, you know, a safety pilot with you. Um, but it's easy, left 360, right 360, it works. Um, and it's amazing. Um, it's it's really amazing. You know, it's it, like I said before in my other videos before I got the Dynon system. It's basically having an iPad, exactly what it is in your screen. So, uh, you know, and that's why I wanted the 10 inches. And like you know, you know, some people say, well, Garmin's been around for a long time. Aspen, yeah, they've been around for a long time. Dynon's been around for 20 plus years. They were mostly in a sort of the um, experimental business for a long time. Family owned, built in the U.S. Uh, they just got dipped their hands into certified uh, four years ago-ish, and they're knocking out of the ballpark uh, because they're, they're GA friendly. Uh, you know, we're not a number, we're, we're not a customer number, we're a family number, and that means that that goes a long way uh, for people like me, anyway. If you have a lot of money, you don't care what you have. Um, you want to dump in, you know, eighty thousand, ninety thousand dollars in uh, other products? That's fine. Uh, you're getting the same thing right here. And you, you know, Chris, I just checked the weather at uh, Lancaster. The wind is uh, 320 at 7. So that kind of tells us we're landing 28 at 12 pounds. Uh, copy that, sir. And it uh, looks like it's uh, clear uh, with some holes. So we'll, we'll get down pretty easy. I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna, we're going to descend in about one minute. Copy that. Rolling back over. Good shit, 25. New York Center. Chris, if you don't have it, the frequency for uh, smoke is 123.05. Copy that. Uh, are you going to get down below these clouds in front of us before? I'm doing it now. I'm descending now. Okay. Copy that. That was November 6863, Julia downtown.
nice and easy. Don't want to shock pull anything. Six zero Juliet Roger, maintain uh, via Florida below three thousand. I'll code for in about three miles. Understand you want to highlight two four to verify Fox Trot. Cherokee six zero Juliet, picking up traffic for Fox one mile, same direction of flight, indicating one thousand five hundred. Very good. Get down before these clouds ahead of us. Advise, uh, under seven boxes and FYI. Copy that. Thirty six zero Juliet. Help. Trying to slow her down. Sorry. Block is zero four four two. Make your nine o'clock. Sorry. And I understand you said you want the uh, public Smith in the hole over in Texas. I'm going to scoot over to the left here to get around these clouds. Okay, so we're good there. Put some power in now. Yeah, 26.38, uh, 14.9 for 9,000. I'm going to a little bit lower now. A little bumpy here. Is this thing still working? Yes. I'm going to put my shoulder harness in a little bit and get my feet on back on the... Human, human down here. Oh, calm. What do you say? One, three, oh, five. I'm gonna turn my transponder back on. I'm, um, I am uh, in front of him now. Okay, land lights gonna come on. A little hazy over here. Again, it's supposed to burn off, but it's hanging around a little bit longer than, than usual. We're all looking good. Clouds might seem very close to me with the cameras. They're not. So don't tell the FAA on me. <laughs> Please. 978, we're at Cherokee 235, and it's to uh, 7, 6, November, Sky Haven. It's beautiful down here. Uh, hopefully the undercarriage cameras are still working. It's been on playing for an hour now. Uh, but the batteries are getting low on all the cameras. So uh, hopefully it does. Switch fuel tank. I'll switch fuel tank. I have a dyno on at an hour. I gotta switch. I gotta change it to a half an hour. It's just set for a half an hour. But the dyno just told me to switch tanks. So we've been flying for an hour. Hey, Kevin, you on? All right. Let's look at this airport. There's a bunch of fields that look like air, uh, airports. There's an airport. Traffic, that's a 2-9er, Juliet. Turning base for runway 2-4, you're going to traffic. What runway are you coming in? 
Yeah. I'm going to go sweep. I want to go find over the field. Cleared on it. I'll do that. I'll do that. And smoke down traffic. Mooney is a member flying over the field at 2,000. And then going to do a teardrop left downwind uh, for uh, 2 8. Right. Smoke down traffic. Tag is right behind him. Smoke down. Okay. And smoke down traffic. Mooney is now over the field, 2,000. So a teardrop for the midfield left downwind for 2 8. Smoke down. Okay, mixer's full, Rich. Landing traffic has the uh, jump plane in sight. Traffic. Smoke down, traffic. Mooney is downwind now. Two eight. Smoke down. Okay, here's the field. Uh, 1,700. Down traffic, but he's being the two eight numbers. Smoke down. Okay, gas traffic. I just keep saying, Echo, gas. Uh, left down wind. Hey, pretty under carriage. Or a little too fast. All right. Here, coming down. Lock that in. That's locked. And we'll throw in some flaps. And smoke down traffic. Mooney is left base now for 2 8. Smoke down. I'm going to give you some room so you can get off. Copy that, sir. Okay, so flaps are full. Trim up. Let's go on uh, display, full screen. Smoke down traffic. Mooney's turning final. 2 8. Full stop. Smoke down. You get 2638 fields in sight. Okay, we have 2-8 right in front of us. 500. Thank you. Well, town traffic, uh, Tiger turning. Oh, it's uh, hot down here. Base two, uh, left base 2-8, smoke down. Smoke down traffic, please for a final. 2-8, smoke down. Okay, gas. On, undercarriage, mixture, prop, speed, seatbelts are on, we're on the fullest tank. We're at 90. Let's do one more type of trim. Little windy. Watering crosswind. Smoke town traffic target turning base to final. 2 8 smoke town. Smoke town traffic tiger on a uh, two mile final. Right, Here one more time. Down. Uphill a little bit. All right, little rudder, flare, perfect. Look at that, nice. Smoke down traffic. Smoke down traffic. Tiger short final two A. Smoke down. All right, fuel pumps coming off. Open the door. And uh, smoke down traffic. Many clear. Two eight smoke down. Okay, we made it to smoke town. I don't know all the cameras are working or not. Maybe this one went out again. So, but thanks for flying along, folks. I appreciate it. We're gonna have a little barbecue. We're gonna have some fun today. Relax. Um, thanks for flying along. You know, like guys, I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. If you like my channel, folks, please consider subscribing. Keeps me, uh, keep my mojo going. And you can also email me at pilotfunnel101 at gmail.com. I do get a lot of emails, uh, but I will get back to you. There's another word to park the airplane. Um, which, okay. I'm going to get some fuel, actually. I fill up now, so I'm going to do it later. And like always, I'm on Facebook, too. I'm reaching 16,000. 16,000 followers on Facebook. And thank you for that support. Like always, guys, fly safe, be safe. I'll see you guys next time.
oil pressure. Traffic tiger, clear roof, uh, two way, smoke town. Cause I'm backing up to where I used to be